Welcome to Tyrannosaurus Riffs. My name is Brandon and today we are going to shoot out a couple of eminent speakers. We've got the DV-77 and the Swamp Thing. So for this shootout, we've got a handful of riffs to check out, one clean and some high gain. Now I've used my Soundflower Custom 4x12 that has both speakers loaded. Each has their own individual input. The DV-77 is in the top position and the Swamp Thing is in the bottom. Now I know that top and bottom can make some subtle differences, but they're loaded in the same cabinet and we're going to check them out in that setting. Now the Swamp Thing is a 150 watt speaker and has a much bigger cone while the DV-77 has more of your average size cone and is 70 watts. Both speakers were recorded with the Shure SM57 at the dust cap position. Now for the reamp part of the video that I'm going to kind of chat through a little bit with you, there is no pre or post processing. That is just raw from that cab, from the orange Rocker Verb 50 Mark III, and from my Schecter Hellraiser with Fishman Fluence, Devin Townsend pickups. What you see is what you're going to get on that. Now this video is not being made to say the DV-77 or the Swamp Thing is better than one another. It is being made so you can hear some tonal differences. And in my experience, I found that changing speakers is one of my favorite ways of chasing tones. Guitars don't always change as much as I think they do. Pickups, strings, amps. And I'm not saying that anything sounds the exact same, but I do find that speakers are one of the more fun things to do, even though you don't get that human aspect of, oh, it's fun and exciting to buy because you do load it in your box, your cabinet, and you don't see it anymore. You just hear it. But playing around and recording with them, blending them is super fun. There are chapters below so you can skip around through the different riffs or the mixes at the end. But other than that, let's dive in. That's the only clean riff we are going to do. Now for that specific riff, I would be plenty happy with either of those speakers, the 77 or the Swamp Thing. They're not big enough differences for me to care too much. Not because it's not important, but I just don't do a lot of clean. So I would be happy with either of those. But if you liked one more than the other, I'd be happy to hear your thoughts below. Let's move on to the high gain. Okay, so the first thing that comes to my mind in that comparison, as soon as the Swamp Thing came on, to me, out of the two, it sounded more scooped. Um, really, It really reminds me of the uh, 2000s metalcore era 
sound. And I think when I first got the Swamp Thing, when I plugged it into my cabinet and got it all set up and played it, I instantly fell in love with it. And I think that's why I kind of, I think I like that scooped sound a lot more than I realize, but let's check out some more. I like both of those speakers a lot. Um, the DV77 is one of my favorites. I've only had the Swamp Thing for a couple of weeks. In that setting, I'd probably like the DV77 a little bit more just for that type of a riff, but I do think the Swamp Thing sounded really good as well. <laughs> Now obviously a band like The Used only has one guitar player, but if he had a cabinet with two different speakers and mic'd one stage left and one stage right, that could be super cool. But if you're a band with two guitarists, it might be fun if you guys had different speakers. You probably have a similar interest in guitars and amps if you're in a band together. Mix up the speakers a little bit, blend that sound and alter it just enough that it sounds a little bit more interesting because I do like both of those speakers for that setting as well. So final thoughts after going through those with you. Again, the clean, I, I could be happy with either of those just because I'm not a lot, I don't play a lot of clean. Um, I can see myself being very happy with either the 77 or the Swamp Thing on different riffs, but I do love being able to play both and I do find them both interesting. I 
I do think the Swamp Thing definitely sounds more scooped, but it has a very nice uh, tone to it that I do enjoy, especially live in the room. I love playing through that speaker, but I also love playing through the DV77 just as much. So rapid fire here at the end, blend right after. No more talking from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.